Hey, Laubox here. Today we are going to talk about Grapple Tournament VR, a fast action first person shooter for virtual reality. So if you want to buy the game or if you are interested, stay tuned because in this Let's Talk VR, I am going to show you what this game has to offer. Let's dive into the game, shall we? When you first start up the game, you will be placed in this spacious area, which is the main lobby, the main menu. And here you can see the weekly leaderboards. And if you walk a little bit further, you have single player on the left here, multiplayer on the right. And I'm not sure yet if I am a big fan of these interactive lobbies where you can pick up things to walk to certain areas, for example, to activate a practice and then walk to the other side of the area to get into a multiplayer game. To be honest, I like it simple. Just to have like a menu in front of me so I can quickly select multiplayer, single player, whatever. A bit like Onwards. But I must say, Grapple Tournament VR has one of the best interactive lobbies out there that I have seen. Now, let's continue here. Here we have just have uh, some kind of arena-like skybox. Here we have the multiplayer. We can click on quick play over here. And that will uh, just get us into a match. I have to say, though, that you can group up with friends. And you can, of course, invite friends to your party and get into a game together, into a quick play match. But that doesn't mean necessarily that they will also join your team. So if you invite a friend in your party, in the lobby, you go into a game, you can be in the opposite teams. Remember that. Here, this is the skybox. So there's a, a nice music going on in the background. I like it. I like the, the up-tempo beat. Gets you ready for the games. So here is the single player menu. You can practice against AI. There are different uh, uh, game modes. There is free for all. There is team deathmatch and capture the zone. You can put the bots on easy, medium or hard and select how many bots you want to play against. And there is like a tutorial that you can follow, a practice range and a parkour. Let me show you the parkour here. Of course, it is called grapple tournament. That means that you have a grapple something on your left hand. So in the parkour mode, you can actually test your grappling hook skills. With the grappling hook, you move yourself forward. It's not as easy as it looks. It's not as easy as it looks. It's kind of hard, to be honest. So with the grapple hook, you can just, you know, it's like Spider-Man. You just grab yourself onto the wall, move towards it. And while you are moving towards the wall, you can grab another wall and move, you know, maneuver yourself like this over the map. Pretty hard, but the parkour mode, I like it. It's a good way to practice your grappling hook skills again. There's a lot of weapons that you can try, and in this practice range, you can try them all out. I will show some of them. And uh, uh, most of the, of the guns, though, most of the guns, they remind me of Quake, Unreal Tournament. And I'm, and I'm sure if you played those games, it will remind you of Quake and Unreal Tournament as well. Now, let's go. So here we are going to the laser beamer. Taking the laser beamer. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty nice weapon. So there's also melee weapons, and I... Damn, do I love those. So this is a sword. And if you click the trigger, well, you can see what happens. Ah, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love to just get into a game and only use my swords. Absolutely great. It feels good. You can actually have a, as you can see, a two-handed sword here. And they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. Just basically touching your enemy kills them. Now, besides the sword, there's also an energy blade. And that makes it even more interesting and cool. And look at this. Ah, this feels so powerful when you do this in VR. If you do this in a uh, on a 2D screen. I mean, yeah, I mean, you have a sword in your hands. And you can just, you know, hack and slash. But look at this. Yeah, I, I think it's fabulous. I think it's fantastic. Here is the, the rocket launcher, as you can see. Does a lot of damage. You can also have that as a two-handed weapon. And here we are taking the real gun, and the real gun is basically just a sniper rifle. But what I like most, or not most, but what I think is an interesting game mechanic, is that if you just take the weapon out with a single hand, and you shoot, you will shoot some kind of laser beam. But if you take the gun with both hands, you will activate the secondary option of the gun. So in, in case of this real gun, so with one hand you shoot laser beams. So if you take it with two hands, you will actually shoot those energy balls which do quite a lot of damage pretty interesting and i think that's a really good uh, a nice mechanic here i'm taking the gatling gun so single-handed you just shoot all these little, little bullets but if you take it with a second hand it will activate a shield in front of you 
I think that's pretty nice. Also an interesting mechanic is that with the hook you can actually take weapons. Let me show you here in this example. I think that I'm gonna pick some weapons up here with my grappling hook. Am I? Lau? There we go. There we go. I mean, great. So you don't actually have to walk towards a gun to pick it up. Just use your grappling hook and get that gun towards you. So with this mechanic, you can also steal weapons of your enemies, which is pretty fun. Okay, so here I am signing myself up for a quick play, quick play match. You can just stay in the lobby while it's queuing. Shoot a little bit around. And yes, this game does have a spectator option. It's unbelievable. Thank you very much, developers. So if you want to stream this game or if you want to record footage for YouTube, yes, it does have a spectator option as you can see here so what is the spectator option all about let's say you want to record footage for YouTube or you want to stream or you have friends over and you want just want to show some gameplay on a secondary monitor you can activate the spectator option so in the middle you see just some normal gameplay but on the right side you see extra information the, the score what game mode it is the time the enemy of the, the players the score the kill death ratio the ping etc the assists and what gun you are using at the moment but my webcam is in front of it so you can't see that so before a match starts there's a voting taking place a voting for what type of game mode you want to play the death match team death match or point capture and which map you want to play and it's not just a click and there's a vote now you can actually take guns out and then shoot at what you want to play and the most hits win so in this case it's a death match everyone is shooting at the death match marker and at the hydrophonics map and i think that's a really cool mechanic to actually decide what type of game mode you want to play and which map okay so here we are in a match the spectator mode is on, on the right side you can see what gun i have the enemy players and yeah again it's a fast paced action fps shooter uh, as you can see i'm pretty noob though so you will see me die a lot you have 100 health 100 hp and you can take armor, just like in Unreal Tournament and in Quake. 100 health, and you can get up to 150 armor if you want. There's guns all around that you can pick up. Uh, the grappling hook is very useful to get yourself around. And I think the pro players here in this game will only use the grappling hook, I guess, to just go from A to B, quickly get the armor upgrades, health upgrades, etc. So as you can see, I'm not using any snap turn in this game. That was because I was uh, recording for YouTube. But you can turn it on. And I would, I would highly advise you to turn it on as well. That's because if you don't, well, in this game, you just have to turn a, turn a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, your cable will be all messed in the end of the round. And that sucks. So I can really see this being a hit on the Oculus Quest 2. I don't think it's playable yet on the quest 2 but i'm sure they will port it to the quest 2 and then uh, yeah i think it's a it's a great game for the quest 2 also for pc vr i mean i love the game i've been playing this with a couple of friends and it's so much fun also there's in-game communication so you can use your microphone as well and what's also pretty great is that in the game menu you can just select which type of microphone you want so you don't have to go back to the window settings now you can just select your microphone in game same goes for the uh, audio here's for example a quick screenshot of what the uh, the option looks like if you go to the audio tab uh, and as you can see like i told you guys you can just select the output device volume music volume voice chat on and off voice chat volume you can mute people very easily so that's all uh, all pretty nice here is a screenshot of the game options so you can easily adjust the player height locomotion settings and snap to an angle if you want to get that 45 or 50 or 20 you know you can change a lot while being in game and i like that that you don't have to go back to a main menu so let's check out some gameplay and i think in this map back then i used the sword a lot and uh the sword you can always take it's not something that you can pick up on the map it's always you have that in your backpack so you can just put your arm in the back and get your sword out and here i'm fighting do i win this match We'll see. He does a lot of damage here. I hit him once. And I hit him twice. It just feels very satisfying. And this is so much fun. 
doing those only sword matches. Um, yeah, and uh, that's basically it. I don't have much else to talk about, to be honest. If you like fast action first person shooters, oh, get this game. Way. And if you are Did playing on the Quest 2, wireless, I would say get it. It's not released yet for the Quest 2, but I'm sure they will port it over. So get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this game is still in early access, but it feels like a version 1.0 to me. I haven't encountered many bugs. Gameplay feels fantastic. Weapon handling feels good. I like the grappling hook mechanics. I like the fast-paced... I, I just really enjoy the game, to be honest. I especially enjoy it with friends. And, uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say, to be honest. Uh, do know that there is a lot of customization as well. You can change your name here, but if you go to skins, you can change the body type. You can have like, there's 52 different heads that you can put on. Uh, you can change the hairstyle, the face style, and there's no in-game purchases. There's nothing that you have to unlock. It's just, you go for some crazy kind of avatar and you jump straight into the fight. I hope that if you were interested in the game or or was thinking of buying it, I hope this gave you a better insight of what the game has to offer. Again, I really enjoy the game. I would highly advise it if you like shooter games, arcade shooter games, that you get this game. It's fantastic. Besides customization, there is uh, right now there are like five or six different maps, but I'm sure that they will expand that amount whenever the game gets released. Now, if you like this video, then please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos and want to support me, then hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see me playing these games live, then go to twitch.tv slash labox and hit that follow button. Guys, see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.